Okay, on this problem, what we have is we are given a function f of x equals seven, and we are asked to find the derivative at 12. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and listed out um, the definition of derivative, the limit definition of derivative, which says the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Um, this is a bit of a unique situation in this one because we have a constant function that's given to us f of x. So there isn't an x on the right hand side to plug in for. So what I'm going to elect to do on this one initially is simply compute the derivative without plugging in the 12. Afterwards, we'll plug in the 12 or think about what that means um, for uh, our situation here. So we're going to compute the limit as h approaches zero. Now, as we're trying to figure out what is f of x plus h, normally whatever goes inside this set of parentheses is going to replace an x on the opposite side of the original function. But in our case, because we don't have any x's on the original function, it's simply going to be 7. Minus, again, we're trying to figure out what is f of x is going to get plugged in for f of x here. So f of x equals 7. So in our situation, we get 7 minus 7 over h. Now thinking about plugging in Zero for the h is our ultimate goal here, but let's think about simplifying this down first. Seven minus seven is gonna be zero over h. So we're really trying to figure out the limit as h approaches zero, and zero divided by h is gonna be zero. You'll see that our place where we could put in zero for h has gone away. So the limit of a constant here is just going to be the constant itself. So f prime of x, equals zero, if we want to compute that derivative at 12, it's still going to be zero. All right. Another way to think about this is we have a constant function. So that would be a horizontal line going across here. Derivative means the slope of the tangent line to the function. So the original function would be a horizontal line going across at seven. Any um, tangent lines to that are also going to have the slope of zero. So the derivative for any constant function, the derivative is always going to be zero. All right, hope this helps out, um, makes this a little bit clearer. I'm sure after you get past the limit definition, we'll learn these um, rules about taking derivatives um, where constants, their derivatives are always going to be zero. All right, hope this helps. See you next time.